The formation of stars and planets is a fascinating process that has intrigued scientists for centuries. While there are still many aspects of this process that are not fully understood, astronomers have developed several theories supported by observations and simulations. One such theory is that stars and their accompanying planetary systems can indeed be born from the aftermath of a supernova, although it is not the sole mechanism for their formation. Stars are formed within massive clouds of gas and dust called molecular clouds. These clouds are composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, along with traces of other elements. Within these clouds, gravitational forces cause regions of higher density to form, known as molecular cloud cores. These cores can have masses several times that of the Sun. As the molecular cloud core collapses under its own gravity, it begins to spin faster due to the conservation of angular momentum. The collapse and spin result in the formation of a rotating disk of gas and dust around the core, known as a protoplanetary disk or circumstellar disk. The protoplanetary disk is a crucial stage in the formation of planets. The protoplanetary disk consists of a central region, where the young star forms, and an outer region, where planet formation occurs. In the central region, the dense material continues to collapse, increasing the temperature and pressure at the core. Eventually, the conditions become so extreme that nuclear fusion ignites, and a star is born. This process is known as stellar ignition. In the outer region of the protoplanetary disk, the small dust particles start to collide and stick together due to electrostatic forces and other mechanisms. Over time, these particles grow in size, forming planetesimals, which are kilometer-sized bodies. Planetesimals further collide and merge to form protoplanets, which are larger bodies with the potential to become planets. Now, how does a supernova come into play? A supernova is a powerful explosion that occurs at the end of a massive star's life. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, its core collapses under the force of gravity, leading to a cataclysmic explosion. This explosion releases an enormous amount of energy and sends shockwaves throughout the surrounding space. Supernova explosions are incredibly energetic and can inject heavy elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, into the interstellar medium. These heavy elements, which were synthesized within the star, become mixed with the surrounding gas and dust. Subsequently, new stars and planetary systems can form from this enriched material, which includes the remnants of previous generations of stars. While a supernova can contribute to the formation of stars and planets by providing the necessary heavy elements, it is important to note that not all stars and planetary systems are born in supernova remnants. The precise mechanisms of star and planet formation are influenced by a variety of factors, including the initial conditions of the molecular cloud, the presence of magnetic fields, and the dynamics of the collapsing material. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a complex process that involves the collapse of molecular clouds, the formation of protoplanetary disks, and subsequent accretion of material to form stars and planets. While supernovae can contribute to the enrichment of heavy elements in the interstellar medium, they are not the only mechanism for star and planet formation. The study of these processes continues to be an active area of research in astronomy and astrophysics. Once the protoplanetary disk has formed around a young star, the process of planet formation begins in earnest. The dust particles and planetesimals within the disk continue to collide and grow, undergoing a process known as accretion. As larger objects form, their gravitational pull becomes stronger, allowing them to attract and capture nearby material. Within the protoplanetary disk, there are two main models for planet formation, the core accretion model, also known as the bottom-up model, and the disk instability model, also known as the top-down model. In the core accretion model, small solid particles collide and stick together, gradually forming planetesimals. These planetesimals then grow further by accreting more solid material, eventually becoming planetary embryos or protoplanets. As the protoplanets continue to accrete gas and dust from the surrounding disk, they can become gas giants like Jupiter or Saturn if they accumulate enough gas before the disk dissipates. In this model, the gas giants typically form farther from the star where the disk is cooler and gas is more abundant. The disk instability model proposes that planets form directly from the gravitational instability of the protoplanetary disk itself. In regions where the disk is massive and dense enough, gravitational instabilities can cause clumps of gas and dust to collapse, forming giant gas planets directly. 
This model suggests that gas giants can form relatively quickly, in a few thousand years, but it may struggle to explain the formation of smaller rocky planets. As the star continues to accrete material from the disk, the disk itself starts to dissipate due to several factors, including the pressure from the star's radiation and the drag from the surrounding gas. This process, known as disk dispersal, marks the final stages of planet formation. The remaining material in the disk is either accreted onto the star or expelled into interstellar space, leaving behind the newly formed star and its planetary system. It's important to note that not all planetary systems have the same architecture. The observed diversity of exoplanetary systems challenges our understanding of planet formation. Some exoplanetary systems have hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit very close to their host star, which raises questions about how they formed in such a location. Other systems have multiple planets packed in tightly together or exhibit eccentric orbits, suggesting complex interactions and dynamical processes during formation. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process that involves the collapse of molecular clouds, the formation of protoplanetary disks, and subsequent accretion and growth of material. While a supernova can contribute heavy elements to the interstellar medium and potentially influence the subsequent generations of stars and planets, it is not the sole mechanism for their formation. The ongoing discoveries of exoplanets and advancements in observational and theoretical studies continue to refine our understanding of how stars and planets come into existence. Once the protoplanetary disk starts to dissipate, the young star enters what is known as the pre-main sequence phase. During this phase, the star undergoes further evolution, gradually settling into a stable state on the main sequence, where it will spend the majority of its lifetime. Meanwhile, within the disk, the process of planet formation continues. As the protoplanetary disk dissipates, the remaining gas and dust undergo various physical and chemical processes that influence the final characteristics of the planets that will form. One important process is called planet migration. It is believed that gravitational interactions between planets and the remaining gas in the disk can cause planets to migrate inward or outward from their original formation locations. This migration can significantly affect the final arrangement of the planetary system. For example, it may explain the presence of gas giants close to their host stars or the existence of resonant systems where planets have specific orbital ratios. In the case of our solar system, it is thought that the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn underwent significant migration. They likely formed farther from the Sun but migrated inward, perturbing the orbits of other planets and causing the late heavy bombardment, a period of intense asteroid and comet impacts on the inner rocky planets. Once the protoplanetary disk has dissipated, the remaining material within the system consists of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. The planets can be categorized into two main types, terrestrial planets, such as Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury, and gas giants, like Jupiter and Saturn. Terrestrial planets are predominantly composed of rock and metal, while gas giants have thick atmospheres primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. The formation of planetary systems is not limited to just single star systems like ours. Binary or multiple star systems can also have planets. In these cases, the dynamics of the system become more complex, with the gravitational influences of multiple stars affecting the formation and stability of planets. While the process of star and planet formation is now better understood, there are still ongoing studies and observations to refine our models and theories. The discovery of exoplanets and the analysis of their properties have provided valuable insights into the diversity of planetary systems. Additionally, advancements in telescopes and instruments have allowed astronomers to observe and study protoplanetary disks directly, providing a deeper understanding of the processes occurring during the early stages of planet formation. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process that involves the collapse of molecular clouds, the formation of protoplanetary disks, and subsequent accretion and growth of material. Various physical and chemical processes influence the final characteristics of the planets that form, including migration, interactions with the remaining gas in the disk, and gravitational influences from other objects in the system. Through ongoing research and observations, scientists continue to expand our understanding of how stars and planets come into existence. As the process of planet formation progresses, the planets that have formed begin to interact with their surroundings. These interactions can shape the evolution and final characteristics of the planets. 
One important aspect is the role of the planet's atmosphere. Once a planet reaches a sufficient size, its gravity can capture and retain gases from the surrounding environment. The composition of the planet's atmosphere depends on factors such as its distance from the star, the available gases in the protoplanetary disk, and subsequent processes like volcanic activity and impacts from comets and asteroids. The presence of an atmosphere can have a significant impact on a planet's climate, weather patterns, and potential for supporting life. For example, Earth's atmosphere is rich in nitrogen, oxygen, and trace amounts of other gases, creating a habitable environment for diverse forms of life. In contrast, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn have predominantly hydrogen and helium atmospheres, making them inhospitable for life as we know it. Additionally, the formation of planets can be influenced by the presence of resonances with other bodies in the system. Orbital resonances occur when two or more objects exert regular gravitational influences on each other due to their specific orbital ratios. These resonances can have various effects, such as stabilizing orbits or causing orbital instabilities that lead to gravitational interactions, orbital changes, and even ejections from the system. Furthermore, the formation of moons around planets is another fascinating aspect of planetary system formation. Moons can form through processes similar to planet formation, with smaller bodies accreting and growing within the protoplanetary disk. Some moons, like Earth's moon, may have formed from the debris of a massive impact event. Moons play important roles in shaping the dynamics and evolution of their host planets, influencing tides, atmospheric circulation, and even potentially providing environments suitable for life. It is worth noting that the formation of stars and planets is not a one-time event. Throughout the universe, new stars continue to form in regions of ongoing star formation, such as molecular clouds and stellar nurseries. These stellar nurseries are often seen in regions where the interstellar medium is dense and turbulent, providing the necessary conditions for gravitational collapse and subsequent star and planet formation. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and interconnected process involving the collapse of molecular clouds, the formation of protoplanetary disks, and subsequent interactions and evolution of the planets. Factors such as the presence of an atmosphere, orbital resonances, and the formation of moons contribute to the final characteristics and dynamics of planetary systems. Ongoing observations and advancements in scientific understanding continue to shed light on the intricate mechanisms that shape the universe we observe. As the process of planet formation continues, various phenomena and events can shape the evolution of planetary systems. Some of these events include stellar encounters, planet-planet interactions, and even the possibility of planet ejections. Stellar encounters occur when two or more stars pass close to each other in their respective orbits. These encounters can have significant effects on the planetary systems associated with these stars. Depending on the distance and relative velocities of the stars, the gravitational interaction between them can perturb the orbits of planets, leading to orbital changes, ejections from the system, or even the capture of planets by a different star. Stellar encounters can also disrupt the protoplanetary disks, altering the conditions for planet formation. Planet-planet interactions within a planetary system can also influence the orbits and characteristics of the planets. As planets orbit their host star, their gravitational forces can interact with each other. These interactions can cause changes in their orbits, such as eccentricity variations or orbital resonances. Strong resonances can lead to orbital instabilities, resulting in close encounters or collisions between planets or even ejections from the system. These interactions play a crucial role in shaping the final configuration and stability of planetary systems. In some cases, a planet that is formed within a planetary system may be ejected from the system entirely. This can happen due to gravitational interactions with other planets, encounters with passing stars, or even interactions with a central binary star. When a planet is ejected, it becomes a rogue planet, untethered to any star, and wandering through space on its own. Rogue planets can potentially retain an atmosphere and may even have moons, but they lack the consistent energy source provided by a host star. In recent years, the discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system, has revolutionized our understanding of planetary formation. We have found an incredible diversity of exoplanets, including gas giants, super-Earths, and even potentially habitable rocky planets. These discoveries have challenged previous models and theories of planet formation, leading to new insights and refinements. 
Observational techniques such as the transit method and radial velocity method have allowed scientists to detect exoplanets by observing the slight dimming of a star's light as a planet passes in front of it or the gravitational wobble induced by a planet's presence. These observations, combined with theoretical models and simulations, continue to enhance our understanding of the mechanisms and processes involved in the formation of stars and planets. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process influenced by a variety of factors, including stellar encounters, planet-planet interactions, and the possibility of planet ejections. These events can shape the final configuration, stability, and diversity of planetary systems. The study of exoplanets and ongoing advancements in observational techniques and theoretical models continue to expand our knowledge of the fascinating processes that give rise to the celestial bodies we observe in the universe. As the process of star and planet formation unfolds, additional factors and phenomena come into play, further shaping the evolution of stellar systems. Some of these factors include the role of magnetic fields, the influence of protostellar jets, and the potential for the formation of habitable zones. Magnetic fields play a significant role in star formation. As a molecular cloud collapses to form a protostar, the conservation of magnetic flux leads to the amplification of magnetic fields within the collapsing material. These magnetic fields can affect the dynamics of the collapse, regulating the accretion of material onto the protostar and influencing the formation of the protoplanetary disk. They can also generate outflows of gas and plasma known as protostellar jets. Protostellar jets are powerful streams of material that are expelled from the vicinity of a forming star along its rotational axis. These jets are believed to be the result of magnetic fields and the conservation of angular momentum. Protostellar jets can have profound effects on the surrounding environment, clearing out surrounding material and influencing the density and distribution of gas and dust in the protoplanetary disk. These processes can play a role in the formation and evolution of planets within the system. The concept of the habitable zone is also crucial when considering the potential for life to exist on a planet. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right for the existence of liquid water on a planet's surface. It is generally considered a key factor in the search for potentially habitable exoplanets. The location of the habitable zone depends on various factors, including the size, temperature, and luminosity of the star. The habitable zone is not a static region and can change over time. Factors such as the evolution of the star's luminosity and the presence of greenhouse gases in a planet's atmosphere can influence the boundaries and stability of the habitable zone. Additionally, the presence of other planets in the system can affect the habitability of a particular planet by influencing its climate and orbital dynamics. Understanding the formation of stars and planets is an ongoing area of research. Scientists employ a combination of observational data, theoretical models, and computer simulations to piece together the complex processes involved. Advances in technology and instruments, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, promise to provide even more detailed observations and data to further refine our understanding of these processes. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a multifaceted process influenced by magnetic fields, protostellar jets, the concept of the habitable zone, and many other factors. These phenomena shape the structure, dynamics, and potential for habitability of stellar systems. Ongoing research and technological advancements continue to deepen our understanding of the intricate mechanisms responsible for the formation and evolution of stars and planets. As the process of star and planet formation progresses, additional factors and mechanisms contribute to the evolution of stellar systems. Some of these factors include the role of turbulence, the formation of circumstellar disks, and the potential for the development of planetary systems with multiple star components. Turbulence within the molecular cloud plays a significant role in the formation of stars. Turbulent motions create density fluctuations within the cloud, causing regions of higher density to collapse under their own gravity. These turbulent motions can also affect the angular momentum distribution within collapsing regions, leading to the formation of protostellar disks with a specific orientation and size. Circumstellar disks, often referred to as protoplanetary disks, are flat structures of gas and dust that surround young stars. These disks are a crucial component of the star and planet formation process. Within these disks, material continues to accrete onto the protostar, while grains and particles collide and aggregate to form larger objects, 
including planetesimals and eventually planets. The physical and chemical conditions within the disk influence the composition and characteristics of the planets that form. The presence of multiple stars within a stellar system can also have a profound impact on the formation and dynamics of planets. Binary and multiple star systems are common throughout the galaxy, and their gravitational interactions can significantly affect the stability and orbits of planets. Depending on the distances and masses of the stars, planets may experience gravitational perturbations, orbital resonances, or even be ejected from the system due to close encounters. The study of exoplanets has revealed the existence of diverse planetary architectures. Some exoplanetary systems consist of hot Jupiters, gas giants orbiting very close to their host stars, raising questions about their formation and migration mechanisms. Other systems have been discovered to possess multiple planets in resonant orbits or compact configurations, challenging traditional theories of planetary formation and migration. In recent years, advancements in observational techniques have allowed scientists to directly observe protoplanetary disks and even capture images of nascent planets within these disks. High-resolution imaging and spectroscopic analysis provide valuable insights into the processes of planet formation and the dynamics of circumstellar material. Moreover, the search for habitable planets and the potential for extraterrestrial life remains an active area of research. Scientists are investigating the conditions necessary for the development and maintenance of habitable environments, including the presence of liquid water, stable atmospheres, and suitable planetary characteristics. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process influenced by various factors, including turbulence within molecular clouds, the formation of circumstellar disks, and the dynamics of multiple star systems. Ongoing research, observational advancements, and theoretical modeling continue to expand our understanding of the intricate mechanisms that give rise to the diverse range of stellar and planetary systems found throughout the universe. As the process of star and planet formation unfolds, there are further factors and phenomena that shape the evolution of stellar systems. Some of these factors include the role of protostellar outflows, the formation of stellar clusters, and the potential for planetary migration. Protostellar outflows are powerful jets of gas and plasma that are ejected from the vicinity of a forming star. These outflows are thought to be generated by the interaction of the protostar's magnetic field with the surrounding material. Protostellar outflows play a crucial role in the feedback process, where they inject energy and momentum into the surrounding environment, regulating the accretion of material onto the protostar and potentially disrupting the surrounding protoplanetary disk. These outflows can affect the formation of planets by redistributing and clearing out the surrounding gas and dust. Stellar clusters are groups of stars that form in the same molecular cloud complex. These clusters can range in size from a few stars to thousands or more. Stellar clusters provide a rich environment for star and planet formation. The presence of multiple stars within a cluster can influence the formation and dynamics of planets, as gravitational interactions can perturb the orbits of protoplanetary disks and affect the accretion of material onto forming planets. Stellar clusters also offer opportunities for studying the statistical properties of planetary systems and understanding the effects of the cluster environment on planet formation. Planetary migration is another important process that can significantly impact the architecture of planetary systems. Planets can undergo migration due to gravitational interactions with their protoplanetary disk or other planets within the system. This migration can result in planets moving closer to or farther from their host star, potentially leading to the formation of hot Jupiters or other unusual planetary configurations. Planetary migration is thought to be a common occurrence, and it has important implications for understanding the diversity of planetary systems observed. Observational techniques, such as transit observations and radial velocity measurements, have revolutionized our ability to study exoplanets and their formation. These observations, combined with theoretical models and computer simulations, allow scientists to explore and refine our understanding of the formation and evolution of stars and planets. Additionally, upcoming missions and telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Extremely Large Telescope, promise to provide even more detailed observations and insights into the formation of exoplanets and their systems. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process influenced by various factors, including protostellar outflows, the presence of stellar clusters, and the effects of planetary migration. 
Ongoing research and advancements in observational capabilities continue to enhance our understanding of the mechanisms involved in the formation of stellar systems. The study of exoplanets provides a wealth of information and insights into the diverse range of planetary systems in the universe. The formation of stars and planets is a remarkable process that occurs within vast clouds of gas and dust called molecular clouds. These clouds are composed mostly of hydrogen, with traces of other elements. The process begins with the gravitational collapse of a dense region within the molecular cloud, triggered by various factors such as shockwaves from supernovae or the gravitational interaction with nearby stars or galaxies. As the dense region collapses under its own gravity, it fragments into smaller clumps known as protostellar cores or pre-stellar cores. These cores continue to collapse, and as the density and temperature increase, a protostar is born at the center of each core. Protostars are young, hot objects that are not yet undergoing nuclear fusion. They are powered by gravitational contraction, and their energy is emitted primarily in the form of infrared radiation. Surrounding the protostar is a rotating disk of gas and dust known as a protoplanetary disk or accretion disk. The protoplanetary disk is the birthplace of planets. It consists of small solid particles called dust grains that collide and stick together, gradually growing into planetesimals and protoplanets. The process of accretion, where particles collide and merge, continues until planet-sized bodies form. The formation of terrestrial planets, like Earth, involves the accumulation of rocky material within the inner regions of the protoplanetary disk. These rocky bodies collide and merge, gradually building up larger and larger bodies. Eventually, these bodies become planet-sized and undergo further differentiation, with heavier elements sinking to the core while lighter elements form the mantle and crust. In the outer regions of the protoplanetary disk, where it is colder, ices of volatile substances like water, methane, and ammonia can condense. These ices provide a solid surface for the accretion of more material, allowing the formation of gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. These gas giants continue to accrete gas from the surrounding disk, growing in size and developing their distinctive atmospheres. The final stages of planet formation involve the clearing of the remaining gas and dust from the protoplanetary disk. This can happen through several mechanisms, including photoevaporation by the intense radiation of the central star or the sweeping action of stellar winds. Once the gas and dust are cleared, the planet enters a phase known as the late heavy bombardment, where it may experience intense bombardment by comets, asteroids, and other debris left over from the planet formation process. It is important to note that the process of star and planet formation is not a linear path, but rather a dynamic and complex interplay of various physical processes. The exact details of planet formation can vary depending on factors such as the mass and metallicity of the protoplanetary disk, the distance from the central star, and the presence of other stars or perturbing objects in the system. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is an ongoing and intricate process that occurs within molecular clouds. From the collapse of dense regions to the formation of protostars, protoplanetary disks, and ultimately planets, this journey is shaped by the interplay of gravity, rotation, and various physical processes. Through ongoing research and technological advancements, scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of star and planet formation, deepening our understanding of the origins and diversity of the celestial bodies in our universe. During the later stages of star formation, when the protostar reaches a critical mass and temperature, nuclear fusion ignites in its core. This process involves the fusion of hydrogen atoms into helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. The energy generated by nuclear fusion counteracts the force of gravity, leading to a stable star that emits light and heat for billions of years. As a star ages and burns through its nuclear fuel, it undergoes various stages of evolution depending on its initial mass. Low-mass stars like our Sun eventually exhaust their hydrogen fuel and enter the red giant phase. During this phase, the star expands in size and becomes cooler. The outer layers of the star are ejected into space, forming a planetary nebula, while the remaining core collapses inward to form a dense white dwarf. In more massive stars, the evolution is different. These stars undergo successive fusion reactions, converting helium into heavier elements such as carbon, oxygen, and even iron. Eventually, when the core can no longer sustain fusion, it collapses under the force of gravity, resulting in a supernova explosion. This cataclysmic event releases an enormous amount of energy, 
and the expelled material enriches the surrounding space with heavy elements, including those necessary for planet formation. The remnants of a supernova explosion can form a variety of objects, including neutron stars and black holes. However, it is also believed that the shock waves and pressure waves generated by a supernova can trigger the collapse of nearby molecular clouds, initiating the formation of new stars and planetary systems. This process is known as triggered star formation. Planets, on the other hand, form within protoplanetary disks surrounding young stars. As the dust grains in the disk collide and stick together, they gradually form larger bodies known as planetesimals. These planetesimals can then further grow by accreting more material through collisions or by gravitational attraction. Eventually, they become protoplanets and, through continued growth and gravitational interactions, form the diverse array of planets observed in our universe. The study of exoplanets has provided valuable insights into the formation and diversity of planetary systems. Scientists have discovered a wide range of exoplanets, including hot Jupiters, super-Earths, and even potentially habitable rocky planets. These discoveries challenge our previous assumptions and theories, driving ongoing research to refine our understanding of planet formation and the factors that shape the characteristics of exoplanets. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a fascinating and complex process that spans billions of years. It involves the collapse of molecular clouds, the ignition of nuclear fusion in stars, and the accretion of material within protoplanetary disks. Supernova explosions and other stellar events can also play a role in triggering the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Through ongoing research and technological advancements, we continue to uncover the intricacies of star and planet formation, expanding our knowledge of the vast and diverse cosmos. In addition to the processes mentioned earlier, there are other important aspects to consider when discussing the formation of stars and planets. These include the role of circumstellar material, the potential for the formation of moons, and the impact of external factors such as interstellar turbulence. Circumstellar material plays a crucial role in the formation of stars and planets. As a protostellar core collapses, it pulls on surrounding gas and dust from a molecular cloud. This material forms a rotating disk around the protostar known as a circumstellar disk or protoplanetary disk. Within this disk, particles collide, stick together, and gradually grow into planetesimals and protoplanets. The composition and characteristics of the circumstellar material can influence the types of planets that form, including their composition, size, and orbital characteristics. Moons, or natural satellites, are often found orbiting planets. The formation of moons is closely linked to the formation of planets. As planets accrete material from the protoplanetary disk, they can acquire enough mass and gravitational attraction to capture nearby objects, such as smaller planetesimals or debris. These captured objects then become moons orbiting the planet. The presence of moons can have significant effects on the stability of planetary systems, tidal interactions, and even the potential for habitability. External factors, such as interstellar turbulence, can also impact the formation of stars and planets. Molecular clouds, where stars are born, are not static structures but rather dynamic and turbulent environments. These turbulent motions within the molecular cloud can affect the fragmentation and collapse of the cloud, leading to variations in the mass and distribution of stars and planets that form within it. Turbulence can also influence the dynamics of protoplanetary disks, affecting the formation and migration of planets. Observational studies and computer simulations play a crucial role in understanding the formation of stars and planets. By observing young stellar systems, astronomers can gather valuable data about the structures and characteristics of protoplanetary disks, as well as the presence of protostars and planetary systems. Computer simulations allow scientists to model the physical processes involved in star and planet formation, providing insights into the underlying mechanisms and helping to interpret observational data. It's important to note that while significant progress has been made in our understanding of star and planet formation, many questions and mysteries remain. The field of astrophysics and planetary science continues to advance, driven by new discoveries, technological advancements, and ongoing research. Future missions and telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming generation of large ground-based telescopes, hold the promise of unveiling even more details about the formation and evolution of stars and planets. In summary, 
The formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process influenced by various factors, including circumstellar material, the formation of moons, and the impact of external factors like interstellar turbulence. Advances in observational techniques and computer simulations have significantly expanded our understanding of these processes, yet many aspects still require further exploration. Continued research and technological advancements are vital in unraveling the intricacies of star and planet formation and deepening our knowledge of the universe we inhabit. As stars and planets form, there are several additional factors and phenomena that contribute to their evolution and characteristics. These include the role of magnetic fields, the potential for planetary system migration, and the formation of stellar nurseries. Magnetic fields play a crucial role in the formation of stars and their subsequent evolution. As a molecular cloud collapses, the conservation of magnetic flux causes the magnetic field to become amplified, threading through the collapsing material. The interplay between the collapsing gas, the rotation of the cloud, and the magnetic field can lead to the formation of a disk-like structure around the protostar, known as an accretion disk. This disk is where the material from the molecular cloud is funneled onto the protostar, fueling its growth. The presence of magnetic fields can influence the mass accretion rate, the orientation of the protostellar disk, and even drive powerful jets of material known as bipolar outflows. Planetary system migration is a phenomenon where planets undergo significant changes in their orbital positions over time. It is believed that gravitational interactions with other objects in the planetary system or with the surrounding protoplanetary disk can cause planets to migrate closer to or farther from their host star. This migration can have important consequences for the final architecture of planetary systems. It may explain the existence of hot Jupiters, gas giant planets in close orbits around their stars, and the presence of resonant planetary systems with multiple planets in orbital resonance. Stellar nurseries, or stellar clusters, are regions where a large number of stars form in close proximity to one another within the same molecular cloud complex. These clusters provide a unique environment for studying star formation and the potential for planet formation in multiple star systems. The gravitational interactions among the stars in a cluster can influence the formation and dynamics of protoplanetary disks and shape the properties of the planets that form within them. Observational techniques, such as high-resolution imaging, spectroscopy, and the study of isotopic compositions, have played a crucial role in advancing our understanding of star and planet formation. Through observations of protoplanetary disks, young stellar objects, and exoplanetary systems, scientists can gather valuable data that can be used to test and refine theoretical models of formation. In recent years, Direct imaging of exoplanets and detailed characterization of their atmospheres have provided insights into the diversity of planetary compositions and atmospheric properties. The field of star and planet formation is an active area of research, and ongoing studies continue to uncover new insights and challenges. Future missions, such as the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the European Space Agency's Plato mission, are expected to further revolutionize our understanding of star and planet formation by observing a large number of exoplanetary systems and their host stars. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a complex process influenced by magnetic fields, planetary migration, and the dynamics within stellar nurseries. Advancements in observational techniques, theoretical models, and computational simulations have greatly contributed to our understanding of these processes. However, there is still much more to learn and explore, and ongoing research continues to deepen our knowledge of the intricate mechanisms that shape the universe we inhabit. The formation of stars and planets is intimately connected to the interstellar medium, which is the material between the stars. The interstellar medium consists of gas, dust, and various molecules spread throughout the galaxy. These materials play a crucial role in the process of star and planet formation. Within the interstellar medium, molecular clouds are the densest regions where stars form. These clouds are primarily composed of molecular hydrogen, H2, along with traces of other molecules such as carbon monoxide, CO, water, H2O, and ammonia, NH3. The densest parts of these clouds, known as molecular cloud cores, undergo gravitational collapse due to their own self-gravity. During the collapse, the molecular cloud cores fragment into smaller clumps, which eventually give rise to individual stars or multiple star systems. The exact mechanism for fragmentation is still an area of active research, but it is believed to be influenced by factors such as turbulence within the cloud, 
magnetic fields, and the presence of protostellar feedback. As the collapse progresses, the central clump of a molecular cloud core forms a protostar, a dense, hot region at the center where nuclear fusion has not yet started. The surrounding material forms a rotating disk called a circumstellar disk or protoplanetary disk. The disk consists of gas and dust particles, some of which grow into planetesimals and eventually protoplanets. Within the protoplanetary disk, dust grains collide and stick together through various processes, including coagulation, sticking due to electrostatic forces, and chemical reactions that lead to solidification of the particles. Over time, these processes allow the dust grains to grow into larger objects, ranging from centimeters to kilometers in size. As these objects collide and merge, they continue to grow into planetesimals, which can be several kilometers in size. Planetesimals then further accumulate material through collisions and gravitational attraction, forming protoplanets. The protoplanets continue to grow by accreting more material, eventually becoming fully formed planets. The final stage of planet formation involves the clearing of the protoplanetary disk material, which can occur through mechanisms such as photoevaporation, stellar winds, and interactions with the growing planet itself. The process of star and planet formation is a dynamic and evolving one. It is influenced by numerous factors, including the initial conditions of the molecular cloud, the mass and metallicity of the cloud, the presence of nearby stars or stellar feedback, and the properties of the protoplanetary disk. The interplay of these factors gives rise to the diverse range of stars and planets observed in the universe. In recent years, the study of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system, has provided valuable insights into the formation of planets. The discovery of exoplanets with diverse properties, such as gas giants close to their stars, hot Jupiters, or rocky planets within the habitable zone, has challenged existing models of planet formation and prompted the development of new theories. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and ongoing process that takes place within the interstellar medium. From the collapse of molecular clouds to the growth of protostars and the formation of protoplanetary disks, the interplay of gravity, magnetic fields, turbulence, and other factors shapes the evolution and characteristics of stars and planets. Ongoing research and advancements in observational techniques, computational modeling, and laboratory studies continue to shed light on the intricate processes involved in the formation of the celestial bodies in our universe. The formation of stars and planets is not limited to isolated events, but occurs within the larger context of galaxy evolution. Galaxies are vast collections of stars, gas, and dust held together by gravity. Understanding the formation and evolution of stars and planets requires considering the role of galaxies in providing the necessary materials and conditions. Galaxies themselves form through the gravitational collapse of large clouds of gas and dark matter in the early universe. As these clouds collapse, they give rise to regions of higher density called protogalactic clouds. Within these protogalactic clouds, smaller pockets of gas and dust continue to collapse further leading to the formation of individual stars and planetary systems. The chemical composition of stars and planets is influenced by the enrichment of the interstellar medium by previous generations of stars. As stars undergo stellar evolution and eventually reach the end of their lives, they release enriched material back into space through processes like stellar winds and supernova explosions. This ejected material, which contains heavier elements synthesized within stars, mixes with the interstellar medium and becomes the building blocks for future generations of stars and planets. The presence of these heavier elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, is crucial for the formation of terrestrial planets with solid surfaces. The formation of stars and planets can also be influenced by interactions and mergers between galaxies. When galaxies collide, the gravitational forces can trigger intense star formation episodes and disturb the orbits of stars and planets. These interactions can result in the formation of new stars and the disruption of existing planetary systems. However, in some cases, the mergers can also lead to the formation of larger, more massive galaxies and the growth of supermassive black holes at their centers. The study of star and planet formation extends beyond our own Milky Way galaxy. Observations of other galaxies, both nearby and distant, provide insights into the different environments and conditions under which stars and planets can form. For example, the study of starburst galaxies, where star formation is occurring at an exceptionally high rate, 
allows researchers to investigate extreme star forming conditions and their impact on planet formation. Advancements in observational techniques, such as the use of space telescopes and large ground-based observatories, have revolutionized our understanding of star and planet formation in distant galaxies. High-resolution imaging, spectroscopy, and multi-wavelength observations provide valuable data about the properties of stars, protoplanetary disks, and exoplanetary systems in different galactic environments. In summary, the formation of stars and planets occurs within the broader context of galaxy evolution. Galaxies provide the raw materials and conditions necessary for star formation, and the life cycles of stars contribute to the chemical enrichment of the interstellar medium. Interactions between galaxies can influence the formation of stars and planetary systems, shaping their properties and evolution. By studying star and planet formation in various galactic environments, scientists gain a deeper understanding of the processes that drive the formation and evolution of celestial objects throughout the universe. Within the context of star formation, there are different types of stars that can form depending on their initial mass. These include low-mass stars like our Sun, intermediate-mass stars, and high-mass stars. Low-mass stars, also known as main-sequence stars, form when the protostellar core reaches a critical density and temperature that ignites nuclear fusion. The fusion of hydrogen atoms into helium in the core releases energy, balancing the inward force of gravity and allowing the star to reach a stable state. Low-mass stars have relatively long lifetimes, burning their nuclear fuel slowly and steadily over billions of years. Intermediate mass stars form through a similar process but have more massive protostellar cores. As a result, they have higher temperatures and pressures in their cores, enabling them to burn their nuclear fuel at a faster rate. This leads to shorter lifetimes compared to low mass stars. High mass stars, on the other hand, undergo a more energetic and turbulent formation process. Due to the large amount of mass involved, the gravitational collapse can be more violent, resulting in intense radiation and powerful stellar winds. High-mass stars have short lifetimes of only a few million years because they burn through the nuclear fuel much more quickly. During their evolution, high-mass stars undergo several stages, including the main sequence, where they burn hydrogen in their cores, followed by the expansion into a red giant phase, the ignition of helium fusion, and, eventually, the possibility of a supernova explosion. Supernovae are powerful events that occur when high-mass stars reach the end of their lives and undergo a catastrophic collapse, leading to a massive explosion that can release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime. Supernovae play a crucial role in enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements and triggering the formation of new stars and planets. Regarding the formation of planets, our own solar system serves as a prime example. The protoplanetary disk that surrounded our young sun provided the raw materials from which the planets formed. Through a process known as accretion, dust particles in the disk collided and stuck together, gradually building up larger bodies called planetesimals. Over time, these planetesimals continue to collide and grow, eventually forming the planets that make up our solar system. The process of planet formation is complex and can vary depending on the characteristics of the protoplanetary disk. For example, the presence of a gas-rich disk can facilitate the rapid formation of gas giants like Jupiter, while closer to the star, terrestrial planets like Earth can form through the accumulation of rocky materials. Other factors, such as the migration of planets within the disk or the influence of nearby giant planets, can also shape the final architecture of planetary systems. Observational studies of exoplanets have revealed a wide range of planetary systems, some of which are significantly different from our own solar system. These discoveries have challenged existing theories of planet formation and prompted scientists to refine their models. Ongoing missions and future observatories, such as the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will continue to provide valuable data and insights into the formation and characteristics of exoplanets. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets encompasses a diverse range of processes and outcomes. Different types of stars form depending on their initial mass, and their lifetimes and fates are determined by their mass and the nuclear fusion reactions occurring in their cores. Planets form from the protoplanetary disks surrounding young stars through the accumulation of material and collisions among planetesimals. The study of both star and planet formation is a dynamic and evolving field, driven by new. 
The formation of stars and planets is a continuous and ongoing process in the universe. It occurs in a variety of environments, from regions of active star formation within galaxies to the vast intergalactic space. Understanding these processes requires studying the interactions between gravity, gas dynamics, magnetic fields, and other astrophysical phenomena. In regions of active star formation, such as molecular clouds, the collapse of gas and dust can lead to the formation of multiple stars in close proximity. These star-forming regions are often characterized by the presence of massive, dense cores that serve as the seeds for star formation. The collapse of these cores is triggered by external factors, such as supernova explosions or the compression caused by the collision of two molecular clouds. Once the collapse begins, the core fragments into smaller clumps, each of which forms a protostar. This process can give rise to multiple star systems, where two or more stars are gravitationally bound to each other. Binary and multiple star systems are quite common in the universe, with estimates suggesting that a significant fraction of stars are part of multiple systems. The formation of these systems can occur through several mechanisms. In the disk fragmentation model, the protostellar disk around a forming star becomes unstable and fragments into multiple clumps, each of which can form a star. In the turbulent fragmentation model, turbulent motions within the collapsing cloud lead to the formation of multiple condensations that eventually become individual stars. The process of planet formation is intricately linked to the formation of stars. Planetary systems form within the protoplanetary disks that surround young stars. These disks consist of gas, dust, and ice particles, and they provide the raw materials from which planets form. Over time, the dust particles within the disk grow through collisions and stick together, forming planetesimals, objects ranging in size from meters to kilometers. These planetesimals then undergo further accretion to form planets. The formation of terrestrial planets, like Earth, involves the assembly of rocky materials. As planetesimals collide and merge, they gradually build up larger and larger bodies. The final stages of terrestrial planet formation often involve massive impacts, where protoplanets collide and reshape the structures of the growing planets. This period of intense collisions is known as the late heavy bombardment and is thought to have played a significant role in shaping the final architecture of our solar system. In the outer regions of protoplanetary disks, where temperatures are lower, the accumulation of ices and solid materials allows for the formation of gas giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn. These planets can grow rapidly by accreting gas from the surrounding disk, forming a gaseous envelope around a solid core. The migration of these gas giants within the disk, driven by gravitational interactions, can influence the overall structure of the planetary system. It is worth noting that the formation of stars and planets is a complex and evolving field of study. Researchers use a combination of observational data, theoretical models, and numerical simulations to investigate these processes and refine our understanding of their underlying physics. Ongoing missions and future telescopes, such as the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope JWST, will provide unprecedented observations of star-forming regions and exoplanetary systems, further advancing our knowledge of how stars and planets form and evolve in the universe. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a captivating and multifaceted process. It occurs within a variety of environments, from molecular clouds to protoplanetary disks, and involves complex interactions between gravity, gas dynamics, magnetic fields, and other astrophysical factors. Through ongoing research and technological advancements, scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of star and planet formation, providing us with insights into the origins of celestial objects and the diversity of planetary. One important aspect of star formation is the role of feedback mechanisms. As a protostar forms and begins to accrete material from its surrounding disk, it also releases energy in the form of radiation and outflows. These energetic processes, known as protostellar feedback, can have a significant impact on the star formation process and the surrounding environment. Protostellar feedback includes two main components, radiative feedback and mechanical feedback. Radiative feedback occurs when the protostar emits radiation, which heats up the surrounding gas and dust. This radiation can regulate the rate at which material falls onto the protostar, thus affecting its growth. Additionally, the radiation can create ionization fronts and photoevaporate the protoplanetary disk, influencing the formation of planets. 
Mechanical feedback refers to the energetic outflows in jets produced by young protostars. These outflows are powerful streams of gas and dust that are expelled from the protostar's poles. They carry away angular momentum, allowing the protostar to continue accreting material from its disk. The outflows can also shock the surrounding gas, triggering the formation of new stars and influencing the dynamics of the interstellar medium. Supernova explosions, which occur when massive stars reach the end of their lives, also play a crucial role in the formation of stars and planets. These explosive events release vast amounts of energy and trigger powerful shockwaves that compress and sweep up surrounding gas and dust. The shockwaves can initiate the collapse of nearby gas clouds, leading to the formation of new stars. The ejected materials from supernovae, enriched with heavy elements, mix with the interstellar medium, providing the necessary ingredients for planet formation. It is also worth mentioning that the formation of stars and planets is not limited to the Milky Way or other spiral galaxies. In fact, stars and planets can form in a variety of galactic environments, including irregular galaxies, elliptical galaxies, and even in the outskirts of galaxy clusters. These diverse environments offer different conditions and challenges for star and planet formation, contributing to the richness and variety of celestial objects observed in the universe. Furthermore, ongoing discoveries of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, have expanded our understanding of planetary formation. By studying these exoplanets, scientists can gather insights into the range of possible planetary architectures, compositions, and formation pathways. Observations of exoplanetary systems provide valuable data that help refine and test theories of planet formation and evolution. In summary, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and dynamic process that involves the interplay of various physical processes, feedback mechanisms, and galactic environments. From the influence of protostellar feedback to the transformative effects of supernova explosions, these processes shape the formation and evolution of celestial objects throughout the universe. Ongoing research, combined with advancements in observational techniques and theoretical models, continues to deepen our understanding of these fascinating phenomena and sheds light on the origins and diversity of stars and planets in the cosmos. The formation of stars and planets is intricately connected to the properties of the interstellar medium, ISM, the vast expanse of gas and dust that fills the space between stars. The ISM plays a crucial role in providing the raw materials necessary for star and planet formation. The interstellar medium consists mainly of molecular hydrogen, H2, along with trace amounts of other elements, such as helium, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. However, H2 is challenging to observe directly, as it lacks a permanent dipole moment and does not emit significant amounts of radiation. Instead, the presence and properties of molecular clouds, regions of higher density within the ISM, serve as indirect indicators of molecular hydrogen. Molecular clouds are dense and cold regions of the interstellar medium where star formation predominantly occurs. These clouds can span several light years in size and contain a mixture of gas and dust, with the dust grains serving as the sites for the formation of molecules. The process of molecular cloud formation is not fully understood, but it is believed to be driven by a combination of turbulent motions, magnetic fields, and gravitational interactions within the ISM. Within molecular clouds, the formation of stars begins with the gravitational collapse of a small, dense region called a pre-stellar core. Pre-stellar cores are typically a few times the mass of the Sun and are characterized by high densities and low temperatures. As gravity causes the core to collapse, it undergoes fragmentation, breaking into smaller clumps that eventually collapse further to form individual protostars. Protostars are young, still forming stars that are surrounded by a protoplanetary disk, a flattened structure of gas and dust. The protoplanetary disk plays a crucial role in planet formation, as it provides the material from which planets can coalesce. Within the disk, dust grains stick together through various physical processes, forming larger particles known as planetesimals. Over time, these planetesimals collide and merge, gradually building up the size of protoplanets. The exact mechanisms of planet formation, particularly the formation of gas giants like Jupiter, are still being investigated. The core accretion model proposes that gas giants form by first accumulating the solid core through the accretion of planetesimals. Once the core reaches a critical mass, it can rapidly accrete gas from the surrounding disk, growing into a gas giant. Another model, 
known as the disk instability model, suggests that gas giants can form directly from gravitational instabilities within the protoplanetary disk itself. The study of exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, has greatly expanded our understanding of planetary formation and diversity. With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, scientists have observed a wide range of planetary systems, including hot Jupiters, super-Earths, and even Earth-sized planets within their star's habitable zone. These discoveries have provided valuable insights into the different formation pathways and planetary architectures that exist beyond our own solar system. In recent years, advanced observational techniques, such as high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy, have allowed scientists to directly image protoplanetary disks around young stars. These observations provide detailed information about the structure, composition, and dynamics of these disks, contributing to our understanding of the early stages of planet formation. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a complex and ongoing process that relies on the interplay of various physical processes within the interstellar medium. From the formation of molecular clouds to the collapse of pre-stellar cores and the subsequent growth of protostars and protoplanetary disks, each step in this intricate dance shapes the eventual formation of stars and planets. Ongoing research, combined with advances in observational technology, computational modeling, and laboratory experiments, continues to expand our knowledge of these. As stars continue to evolve and age, they undergo various transformative stages that can have a profound impact on the surrounding planetary systems. For example, as low-mass stars like our Sun exhaust their nuclear fuel, they enter the red giant phase, where the outer layers of the star expand and engulf nearby planets. This expansion can lead to the destruction or alteration of planetary orbits, and some planets may be completely engulfed by the star. In some cases, the core of a red giant star can undergo further collapse and ignite helium fusion, leading to the formation of a planetary nebula. Planetary nebulae are glowing shells of gas and dust expelled by the dying star. These nebulae can be incredibly beautiful and are often illuminated by the intense ultraviolet radiation emitted by the central star. Eventually, the central star sheds its outer layers entirely, leaving behind a dense remnant called a white dwarf. White dwarfs are the remnants of low-mass stars like our Sun. They are incredibly dense, with a mass comparable to that of the Sun but compressed into a size roughly that of Earth. White dwarfs gradually cool over billions of years, eventually becoming dim, inert objects known as black dwarfs. In contrast, high-mass stars have a more dramatic fate. When these massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they undergo a rapid collapse and rebound, resulting in a powerful supernova explosion. Supernovae are some of the most energetic events in the universe, releasing an enormous amount of energy and expelling the outer layers of the star into space. The core that remains after the explosion can collapse further to form a neutron star or, in the case of extremely massive stars, a black hole. Supernovae play a vital role in the dispersal of heavy elements, such as carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and iron, into the interstellar medium. These elements are crucial building blocks for the formation of new stars, planets, and life itself. The shockwaves from supernovae can also trigger the compression of nearby molecular clouds, initiating the collapse and formation of new stars and planetary systems. The remnants of supernovae, such as supernova remnants and neutron stars, can also be sites for the formation of new stars and planets. The shockwaves and intense radiation from the explosion can compress nearby gas and dust, triggering the collapse and formation of protostellar cores. These cores can then develop into new stars, and the surrounding material can coalesce to form planets in the newly formed planetary disks. Beyond traditional star and planet formation, recent studies have also revealed the possibility of rogue or free-floating planets that do not orbit a star. These planets may have been ejected from their original planetary systems due to gravitational interactions or disruptive events. These free-floating planets roam through space, isolated from any stellar companions. Although their formation mechanism is not yet fully understood, they represent an intriguing population of objects that can provide insights into the formation and dynamics of planetary systems. In conclusion, the formation of stars and planets is a dynamic and diverse process that unfolds over vast timescales and under various physical conditions. From the collapse of molecular clouds to the explosive events of supernovae, each stage contributes to the formation and evolution of celestial objects in the universe. 
The ongoing exploration of star and planet formation continues to uncover new insights and refine our understanding of these captivating processes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.